at a time, you know, from 25 years back to go from manual processes to semi-manual processes, and then we make a workstation, and then by the, by the, by the time it came to the different concepts, I have repeated this process of convert, conversion, conversion from, you know, con conventional methods to somehow mechanical design or something. So this was a, a very valid thing that over the years and the years and the years, uh, in the first Putin automated lab was announced in Kuwait from one time like 10 years back or so. And it was like, you know, a dream, you know, for me it was like a dream that you know, it works, you know, and people can, can really accommodate it, but the challenges, it was very difficult, very difficult. I do remember in Riyadh Medical Center in, in the Shumiti, when it comes to the automation, there was big resistance from the people. I do remember one of the of the people there in the pathology can be automated at one time. <coughs> Why not? How the sample type, the quality of the sample, we know it. Do you believe that you know, microbiology can be totally automated at one time? What do you have in microbiology section in your organization? We currently don't have microbiology. Sorry? <laughs> we currently don't have microbiology. You don't have microbiology, but you're good self? Yeah, we have, we have, um, few machines, but uh, <coughs> the major part is manual. Yeah. It's manual. The major part is manual, but we have few machines. What does it mean, few machines in the microbiology lab? A lot of details in here, but there is no time. But what will take full microbiology lab? The good news is, that it's on the way. Yeah. But what will take full microbiology lab? The good news is, that it's on the way. A lot of work has been done, a lot of research and development is there. And people tomorrow they will be talking about all microbiology lab concepts or lab automation. Very soon, coming soon, like in the movies you don't view, coming soon. But how is it going to look like? We have a lot of challenges, guys. Microbiology, it's not a chemistry, it's not a theorem, it's not a data. We have a lot of challenges here. And see here the pre analytical phase, how long it is. Patient goes to the doctor, the doctor they inspects them, and then he asks for some test. Collection, transport to the airport, Muhammad Hamad. Imagine the tube, the airport, they get past the tube and then go to the plane and everything in there. The analytical field is very minimal here. So I have the best, you know, single solutions, but still I have here the process. So the challenge is the process. So we need really to utilize the existing things. The most, most time, we said, okay, we have here the best urine analyzer, the best uh, blood culture, the best IBSD, but still here, in the, if we need really to, to meet the microbiology lab, we need to standardize the sample. In microbiology lab, we are getting how many different samples in microbiology lab? Tears, huh? urine, stool, uh, swab, tap, 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 different sizes, big, fat, thin, you know, a lot of different things. How are we going to, you know, standardize the sampling? In micro and in biochemistry, we send BTS primary tube sample. You send the fusion, it's zero. You keep it as a zero with some additives, it's whole blood or blood or whatever you want. That, but in here, the challenge is to work on a sample processing system. Very quickly here, that we need really to work out with the different samples. Urine cup, semen, swab, whatsoever. And then you need really to standardize the whole things to come into one, one, you to get accommodated of that streamline thing we want to do to that. Now the work is happening and working on the station, preparation station. Receive the different sample size, take it and put it in a different one single container. And this single container is going to be moving around in the microbiology laboratory. Quickly again here there is a lot of things to happen. Smart incubator. <coughs> we we hear about smart four. All of us know about the smartphone, Blackberry, iPhone. <laughs> Have you heard about the smart incubator, Dr. Ali? If tomorrow I will come to you in your office and say, Dr. Ali, you know, we are selling smart incubators. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy, he's not. This guy is not. What smart incubators? Oh my goodness. Smart incubator is a very nice term. But keep this term with you guys. Take it home with you and think of it. Smart incubator. Hmm. We know the incubator, you know. 37 degrees, just to do 1, 2, 3, 4. But look at here, if we are talking about a fully automated microbiology solution, you have to really look for this smart incubator. Before in microbiology, what we want to do to come to here, we say that from individual to incubator. 
from the elevator to the incubator. But what kind of incubator? How to do this automatically? Incubator? My we will see. In here we are trying really to go for the details. How we are gonna, you know, use the escalator at the airport? The landmark. Now I come in the yesterday or the day before. I put myself on a, you know, what do you call it? The ground escalator. Yeah, yeah. I still hear and it takes me. <laughs> and I don't move anymore, you know. And I don't get into any accident. In my biology, I'm still worried about my plate. My plate, who is going to take it? And who is going to take it to the smart thing here with? Who is going to do this? It's me? Yeah, the technology. We are trying now to come into the technology that have this kind of solution over there. The, the smart incubator gave a result. There is a bacteria there. So some, somebody has to take it from the smart incubator, put it again on the, on the tray, and still somebody has to see the bacteria. Until today people still dismiss the bacteria, and then they want to say this is positive, negative, you know, green. Oh no, it looks like, but I have to make some, I have to do what the you know, the orientation test is the slide. Who is going to make the slide? Grand team. What's grand team? Microbiology. Oh, oh my goodness. I have to go back to this. Imagine. So we need to go back to this solution. The gram, the automated gram scanner. I need to accommodate this to take a sample from here. Either go and put it for an identification in this team, dilute it. It's really a big challenge. Big challenge. You go back here. Quick, you see, we're trying to get bits and pieces. We have those small parts right now in microbiology lab, but how we are going to get them consolidated together and imagine with that. So even the small details to get it here, the to transport it, to move it around, and the biggest challenge, we said it is the multiple sample introduction in the microbiology laboratory. Semen, urine, ah, swab, fusion. But we did really, if we succeed now, and we did, that to come into here, <coughs> we will do the analysis. But the challenges, as Muhammad said, is the post analytical automation for lab processes, pre analytical information, data entry, and I do remember it's a 300 report card, not electronically, no barcodes, somehow we have to prove. No use. But the IT is the biggest challenge in the lab uh, processes, and now we need really to work, and we have to keep in mind your needs, people in the lab. What is your need? What you are making, utilizing the best technology in the world? If you have the best raw drawings, but you don't read Arabic or English or whatever to read the manual and to utilize the options, I still are still today in my car, and I have a friend of mine in this room. He did not have the time to read the manual to set up his navigator. Beautiful navigator in the car. Do you know him? <laughs> okay, so. I have here the know-how, but the know-how is this. These are the big challenges that we have to do with the time and the accounts. We have to really take the time and account to see your needs, to fit your circumstances, what are you going to do, how the report will look like, how you are going to get this integrated all together. Connection, blah, 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 but the IT is a big concern in the lab. Can you imagine for the future lab in the microbiology, the full microbiology solution, you will have here three areas. The technician, he has to have a screen to meet his needs, to see how many samples to be loaded on the different workstations. Now we have workstations. We have uh, you know, automated uh, you know, grab staining, we have automated IDST, we have automated blood pressure, we have even got the automated sticker. Next uh, two weeks you will come to my boat in the Arab Health, you will see this automated sticking you know, machine. No other means to have people to do this, automated sticker. But I need to get all this done. But when you will have this technology with the FMLA IT solution, the screen of the uh, technician, you will have a screen like this to see where it stands and what is expected there. You will see three samples here to be uh, prepared manually, on the right if some samples to be added and so on. The manager dashboard, you know, the lab manager or the lab supervisor will have a different screen. Even the clinician himself after in the hospital is going to have a different screen. Is this happening in microbiology? It doesn't happen in microbiology. It is happening now. It's coming. And the conclusion, I'm going to just conclude.